Launched in 2014, Wi-Fi 5 was the leading technology for wireless local area networks for several years. However, since 2019 to 2020, Wi-Fi 6 has become prevalent with large-scale shipments worldwide. In this video, we will help you understand the differences between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 and their pros and cons. What is Wi-Fi 5? Wi-Fi 5 is the fifth generation of wireless networking standards which provides high throughput in a wireless local area network using the 5 GHz band frequency. Wi-Fi 5 was released in 2014 and brought several upgrades from the previously used Wi-Fi 4. Wi-Fi 5, while a wonderful innovation, has pros and cons. Let's first understand the pros of Wi-Fi 5. Wi-Fi 4 used 5 GHz along with the 2.4 GHz band which has congested as many devices and wireless networks use that radio frequency. Wi-Fi 5 tries to solve this problem using a different, less congested frequency channel, the 5 GHz band. Wi-Fi 5 has better performance and speed than its predecessor, Wi-Fi 4 due to a connection speed of 6.9 gigabits per second. This is a huge advantage considering that a few years ago, devices could only dream of a few bits being transferred per second. Due to increased channel width, Wi-Fi 5 allows a large amount of data to be easily transferred from up to 4 users. Signal modulation of Wi-Fi 5 is more efficient than Wi-Fi 4. It also has the following cons. Wi-Fi 5 signals cover a shorter distance due to the 5 GHz band. Backward compatibility could be an issue with Wi-Fi 5 as devices operating with 2.4 GHz may not work well with the 5 GHz Wi-Fi 5. The initial cost of installing Wi-Fi 5 can be high. What is Wi-Fi 6? Wi-Fi 6 or high-efficiency Wi-Fi is the successor of Wi-Fi 5. It is quite an improvement to the Wi-Fi technology in general and aims to improve Wi-Fi connectivity in highly dense environments such as malls, dense residential areas, corporate offices, and buildings. Released in 2019, Wi-Fi 6 uses the standard 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands, along with the 6 GHz band. Pros of Wi-Fi 6 include it preserves battery life by integrating target wake time or TWT. Devices operating using Wi-Fi 6 networks generally last longer. This is because Wi-Fi 6 connections are automatically switched off when not in use, and the device goes to sleep. This comes in handy, especially in the setting of IoT devices that may not need constant Wi-Fi activity. Wi-Fi 6 offers faster speed than Wi-Fi 5 both for a single device and much more when multiple devices are connected to one router. It has better safety protocols for safe internet surfing. Backward compatibility with Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 4 devices among other standards. Increased number of devices supported by one router. It also has the following cons. It involves a high cost of installation and devices when you purchase smartphones and laptops with Wi-Fi 6 technology. It has a relatively short range of connectivity. There are five key differences between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6. Let's take a closer look at them. 1. Name of the Wi-Fi standard. When Wi-Fi was first released, names based on the IEEE standard were given to each unique medium. For easier marketing, the Wi-Fi Alliance made different standards adopt more specific names based on their position in the generations of Wi-Fi standards. Wi-Fi 5 used the designated name IEEE 802.11ac while Wi-Fi 6 used the name 802.11ax. 2. Power consumption and battery life. The battery life of electronic devices is one of the most critical specifications consumers look for when buying a new device. Some devices are not designed for repeated charging. So, customers generally prefer a Wi-Fi standard that reduces the power drained by its connection. Wi-Fi 6 offers a unique battery conservation benefit due to its TWT feature, which was not found in the previous generations. TWT reduces the amount of unproductive time the device is connected to the Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi 5 does not have the TWT feature thereby failing to regulate the extent of power consumption by peripheral devices. So the power consumption is higher when using Wi-Fi 5 than Wi-Fi 6. 3. Network Security Protocols Wi-Fi allows multiple devices and users to be connected by one access point to the Internet. It is commonly used in public places where there is less control over who can connect to a network. So, network security becomes very important. Wi-Fi 5 supports the WPA and WPA2 protocols for a secure connection. 
Compared to the now obsolete WEP protocol, these are significant security improvements, but even they have several vulnerabilities and weak spots today. One such vulnerability is dictionary attacks that cyber criminals can use to predict your encrypted password using multiple attempts and combinations. Wi-Fi 6 has stepped up the game by incorporating the latest security protocol, WPA3. Thus Wi-Fi 6 enabled devices use WPA, WPA2, and WPA3 protocols together. WPA3 improves multi-factor authentication and encryption processes. 4. Speed of data transfer. Speed is the most important aspect for any task done on the internet. Faster rates mean shorter download times, better streaming, faster data transfer, better video and voice conferencing, and faster browsing. Wi-Fi 5 offers a maximum data transfer speed of 6.9 gigabits per second. In real-life experience, the 802.11 AC standard has an average data speed of about 200 megabits per second. Wi-Fi 5 uses 256 QAM modulation, which is much lower than Wi-Fi 6. Moreover, its MU MIMO technology allows only four devices to connect simultaneously. More devices lead to congestion and slows down the speed of internet for each device. Wi-Fi 6 is much faster even in congested networks. It uses 1024 QAM modulation and boasts a theoretical maximum of up to 9.6 gigabits per second. Wi-Fi 6 offers a significant advantage over Wi-Fi 5 when it comes to the number of devices being connected. While Wi-Fi 5 sees a significant drop in speed and internet strength with just 4 devices, Wi-Fi 6 operates smoothly for up to 8 devices. 5. Approach to Beamforming Beamforming is a signal transmission technique that directs wireless signals towards a specific receiver rather than spreading the signal from different directions. With beamforming, an access point can send data directly to a device rather than broadcasting the signal in all directions. In Wi-Fi 5, just 4 antennas were used. However, Wi-Fi 6 uses 8 antennas. The better the ability of the Wi-Fi router to use the beamforming technology, the better the data rate and range of the signal. Did we help you understand the differences between Wi-Fi 5 and Wi-Fi 6 technologies? Tell in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching this space for more tech videos. Check out the article link in the description box. To stay updated with the latest in technology, visit www.spiceworks.com.